Updates are starting to be released in Massachusetts over concerns about coronavirus. Mike Bodette spoke with a group hoping freedom is granted to many more people who are locked up, and he joins us now. Mike. Ben, some inmates are already getting out, but the ACLU is pushing for the release of a lot more. More than 40 inmates have been released from the Middlesex County Jail and House of Correction this week. All people who are being held on bail waiting to go on trial. What's the public safety risk? What's the medical situation? Middlesex County District Attorney Marion Ryan says she is not taking the decision to release anyone lightly. There obviously are some people that we have made an assessment that the public safety can still be protected and they can be in a different setting. There are also a number of people who, for instance, have already had a dangerousness hearing. They've been adjudged by the court to be dangerous. Um, and they are being detained. At the Norfolk County House of Correction, where we saw cleaning efforts underway last week, three inmates have been released so far with more under consideration. Releasing 40 people is going to, you know, hardly dent what we really need to do to keep the people who are incarcerated safe and to keep ourselves safe. The American Civil Liberties Union of Massachusetts joined defense attorneys in filing an emergency petition with the state's Supreme Judicial Court to go even further limiting the number of people taken into custody, releasing people held on pretrial detention, and releasing people held on certain sentences. We think it should be a lot of people. And it doesn't make sense for it to be done case by case because time is of the essence. You really do need to be making a case by case analysis. And that is the conflict right there. The Suffolk County District Attorney's Office declined to comment when we asked if any inmates have already been released. Now, the SJC has given district attorneys and other interested parties until midnight tomorrow to file their responses to this emergency petition. Reporting live, I'm Mike Bodette, Five Investigates.